Hi, my name is Sherelle Drury and I'm a Senior Business Consultant for Professional Advantage and today I'm going to introduce you to Dynamics AX 2012 Intercompany Accounting. There's three things we're going to overview. We're going to uh, review the setup required to enable intercompany accounting processing to happen. We're going to enter and post an intercompany transaction and then we'll trace that transaction through the two companies just to see how it's actually worked. Demo 1, we will look at the setup required. So in this demo, it explains that Dynamics AX 2012, you can enter an intercompany transaction for a legal entity only. We will also look at the source company and destination company's requirements in relation to the general ledger setups for both the receivables and payable accounts, the intercompany parameters, which is the relationship between the destination company and the receiving company, and look at the dedicated journal name as well, which is optional but desirable if you want to trace your intercompany transactions. So let's go to Dynamics AX now. Intercompany to work correctly, we must set up some basic parameters. So what I've got here is my intercompany accounting setup. Now company CEU has relationship with two of the companies within this organisation and we have set up a credit account and a debit account and a journal ID. I'll close this now. Now this must be set up on both sides so if I just swap into CEE we'll also see here debit and credit accounts and also its journal ID. So once this information is in place we are ready for processing into company transaction. For the second demo I'm actually going to enter and post an intercompany journal. So you'll actually be able to have a look at this journal and then we'll be able to trace the associated postings. So our demo will be a journal that originates in CEU and is posted into CEE. Let's go and create a general journal. Okay, so I'm going to go create a general journal, create a new one. I'm going to select the intercompany type, click on lines. I'm going to enter a credit account for petty cash and I'm going to enter an amount of $500. Now since this is an intercompany transaction I'm now going to click on the general tab and I'm going to go select a, the company the offset is to go to. I'm going to enter in the offset account number and then I'm going to actually put in some text and I can actually just put in here the fact that it was for office supplies. Once I'm happy with this, I can post a transaction. When I've posted this transaction, that the info log has come up telling me that there has been two vouchers posted. Now this is for both the CEU journal as well as the voucher for the CEE company. So I'm going to close this now. So now we're going to go take a look at the transactions. So, so I'm going to have a look at it by today's date. So here are the journals that we've created today. As you can see, there is a credit to the petty cash account and there has been a debit to the interunit receivables account in CEU for CEE. I'm going to swap across into the CEE company now and we'll do the same thing and have a look at the voucher transactions based on today's date and as you can see here there has been a debit to other operational expenses and the credit is against the due to CEU company. So this clearly illustrates that the correct entries have been made for the office expense by CEU on behalf of CEE. So to summarise what we have covered, intercompany transactions can only be processed between legal entities in Dynamics AX 2012. We have reviewed the setup to enable intercompany processing and we have entered and posted a transaction and followed the actual transactions through the process. I'd like to thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact Professional Advantage or email microsoftinfo at pa.com.au. Thank you very much for your time.